If you've been looking for an entry level class A with top of the line amenities, you want to sleep seven plus people with bunks, 33 feet long, roughly 18,000 pounds. You want to come check out the A32 Thor Freedom Traveler. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris Young standing inside the beautiful Freedom Traveler 2021. This is the A32 Bunk Model Class A. Entry level, but has upgraded amenities that Thor puts in some of their top of the line coaches. I really think you're gonna like this one, especially if you're a family that needs to get out and about, you need sleeping options, because this bunk model gives you just that. On top of that, it also gives you leatherette features, like captain swivel chairs right here. You'll notice on the dash, now this is the Seattle gray interior. Love the accent there. I mean, granted, I'm, I'm a big fan of wood grain, so I'd much rather have like the wood grain than this, but it still looks good. You got a 10 inch touchscreen that has, you know, Sirius XM, has, you know, Apple CarPlay, the Android apps, the whole nine. Plenty of options too. You got the slip resistant pads down here to keep stuff safe while in transit. Cup holders, another slip pad there. You have the fold out tray for your co pilot that has not only 110 plugs down underneath, but you also have a 12 volt too, so if you need to plug something in, you absolutely can. But take a look at my windows. Good visibility, I got privacy curtains, Got opens up for cross flow, just makes for a nice trip. Up here, we got that Carolina Cherry cabinetry. Strut supported, you got the brush nickel hardware, some storage up top, and we do have the, uh, the bunk up here, which is a 500 pound capacity, and it has the dream cloud cushion on it. Let me just bring that down for you real quick. Got that, what I like to call the worm groove, drive, suspension net up top as well for additional security or for storage if you want it. But check this out, plush and comfortable. I always tell people, if you can, pick your own mattress. Get one to put in here, because especially if somebody's gonna be sleeping up there or you're doing a long trip, these are comfortable, but just get your own. It just makes life a whole lot easier. Over here on the off-camp side, we have ourselves the Booth Dinette. Plush, thick cushions. This is the leatherette once again. This reduces down into a sleeper. I got myself some 110 power connectors right here. And with the Dream Dinette, plenty of leg space because there are no legs under the table. This reduces down into a sleeper. I got my cup holders here. Open up the windows and get the cross breeze going. That Seattle gray accent on the wood valance is also a nice touch too. With the Carolina cherry at first, when I first looked at it, I was kind of like gray on brown. But now that I'm seating in here, especially with the lights, it looks, it looks pretty good. You need to see it in person though to make sure you like it. 40 inch TV on a swivel. So if I wanna watch TV from anywhere inside the coach, I pretty much can, but this is your reconnection spot. Good for eating, good for playing the card games or the board games. If you need storage, you got the handle slide out storage here, solid wood on the ball bearing drive, full extension. And you got that on both sides, <clears throat> excuse me. Leatherette jackknife sofa here too with my seat belts. Slide this out, could fit uh, at least one person or two kids. Little shelf back here with some cup holders for me. Large panoramic window here as well with my lights, my dual USB charging ports, my Xera speakers mounted in and more storage up top here as well. Look at that. Strut supported, good space. That's for you know pretty much whatever you want to use it for. And that's a great thing about getting an RV. I mean, sure, this could be pantry storage if you wanted it to be that, or grab and go storage, backpacks, kabu bags, water bags, whatever. Good spot for whatever you want to use it for because it's your RV. And that glaze on the on the wood just gives it an upgraded feel and appearance. Controls for my bunk right there. Another little storage compartment here. Got my main coach controls right there. The battery disconnect. You do have two house batteries on this one. Plus I got my light controls. Got the wood paneling on the fridge freezer combo right here, which runs on both gas and electric. Good space for when you want to take those long trips. Got their movable racks. Some storage up above here as well. 
I have another good little grab and go spot. My generator, my slide controls, as well as cutting on my water heater. You do have a six gallon bypass on this one. So if you want to use that, get yourself some hot water as soon as you hop in the shower, cut that on. But I can check my tanks, my batteries, my LP, run my controls right here, my heater, which is ducted. But over here on the campsite kitchen, I, I just like having my space in front or beside of my sink. That's the only thing I didn't like about this, and I did not like the backsplash. If you're gonna do the backsplash, just do it all the way across. Sure, I got my window right here, I know why it's there, but it, it, just personal preference for me. Still very functional, still good solid surface, pressed countertop. You know, you're gonna have plenty of prep room, especially if you use the glass cover over the flush mounted three burner cooktop here. This is good, set a panel across it and use that for prep space. Got myself a little LED light on my controls, 21 inch Furion oven there. Access to the tubing back there. Good space right here as well. Trash can, put that there, open that up. Got a little storage spot. Now, sure, you can put utensils in there. I'd put fishing lures in there just to make the wife mad. Long extension on these drawers, full extension on the ball bearing drives, solid wood construction as well. Up top, I have more cabinetry, that brushed nickel hardware. Adjustable shelves in here, nice feature to have because sometimes you got things that are bigger or smaller or you can just take it out and use it for storage itself. I like the Seattle gray inlay here too, inside the wood paneling on the super slide. The entire off campsite wall is the slide. This is super slide to the max. Got my high point microwave right there. And you'll notice we have the easy to clean slip resistant uh, linoleum floors. How do I know it's slip resistant? My shoes untied, Maddie. Look at that, and I haven't fall down yet. Matt knows that when I'm in an RV, two things are gonna happen. I'm gonna hit my head on something, especially a slide. I knock this giant noggin more than anything. And I'm, chances are I'm probably gonna slip and fall on something. You don't see that in the videos because we obviously cut it out. I'm just letting you know because I wanna be honest with you. Bunks up here, you got twin over twin bunks. Now the ladders for this are under the king size bed uh, in the master, I'll show you that here in a minute. Solid wood balances, large windows, plus mushroom lights on both. And because kids have to have it, you got TVs and DVD players on both the top and the bottom. Because why not, when you wanna get away from everything, have an RV that has 19 TVs in it so everybody can watch whatever they wanna watch. I'm gonna watch the boys, the kids are gonna watch, you know, Teen Titans or whatever. Mom's gonna watch The Crown, I don't know. Everybody's watching whenever they can. Solid pocket door coming into the bathroom and I like how they maximize the space and the storage in here. Now it's small storage, but they did a good job of utilizing the space that's here. Countertop right here with some storage shelf space there. Solid handle over here, solid handle over here for my towels. Got a hook there, porcelain bowl with the foot flush. Some good countertop prep space here too with a stainless bowl and brushed nickel fixtures. I got more storage underneath there as well. Good spot for towels, maybe a little trash can. Got room for some toiletries there too. Mirror along with the mirrored medicine cabinet. Raised lip there, big fan of that. I got my little fan, would have liked to have seen a Max fan in here. Uh, cause that really does a good job of moving the, the, the air, but they put one in here, which can work. Um, the 10 blade max fan, I mean, it moves a foot of air a second. Does a good job. Just would have liked to seen, you know, maybe one in both. Just me. Solid door leading into the master bedroom. And this is where I think the design team really did a good job with the space. King size bed. We have storage underneath. This is also the ladder access, you'll see right there. <clears throat> Decorative headboard with the padded top. Dual USB charging port there. Dual USB charging port over here on my nightstand, right next to the 12 volt. So if you need a CPAP machine, you can. They even took a little space and added a window there and gave it a wood balance. Um, decorative and nice, not really necessary in my opinion. There we go with some storage. Once again, you get those solid wood drawers, full extension on the ball bearing drives. And over here, you have some additional countertop space. You got your 
controls for the rear, because you do have dual 13.5 BTU ACs in here. One is in this uh, ceiling here, one's in the ceiling in the living room. But I got myself a USB charger, plus 110. Some more storage. A 32 inch TV on a swivel, which is kind of recessed. I like how that's recessed in. I also like how it's uh, facing this way, so you're not having to look across your partner to see the TV. Mirrored ward storage right here. Got my hideaway coffee table put in there, which we could use up front if we wanted to. And of course, plenty of storage. I mean, storage room inside and out on the A32, you're gonna have a lot of, and that was a good touch that I thought Thor did with this unit. But we've seen the inside of the 2021 Thor Freedom Traveler A32. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the 2021 Thor Freedom Traveler A32. You got a 12 foot two inch high uh, camper right here. 99 inches wide without the mirrors, 208 inch wheelbase, 33 feet long. And this is sitting on the Ford F53 chassis with that Triton V8, the 7.3 liter engine in it. Now the 7.3 V8, I like better than the V10s because I think you get a little bit more power, especially when you're looking to pass. 109 cubic feet of storage space on this one as well. So if you fill that up, you carry in way too much with you, just gonna let you know now. You do have the monitors here on the cameras, uh, on, on the mirrors, and these are also heated as well, which really helps out. Battery and hydraulic access, and this is the pet link. Something that Thor put in to, to really kind of help with the security of the furry friends when you're out at the campsite. You do have a little porthole there, so if you need to run a latch in, you can latch right there and keep them safe and secure at the campsite. Propane fill here. <laughs> Friction hinge door with the solid handle and all of the storage is rotocast. I like that because it's easy to clean, but you'll also notice it has the drain plugs. So when you get something wet, maybe you're at the beach, throw the wet towels or whatever in there, you can just spray it down and drain it out. I got my little power porch right here, but the true outside entertainment is right. 32 inch TV with sound bar because we got a TV in the living room, TV in the master, TV in the bunk, TV in the other bunk, and TV outside. You're okay. You understand where I'm going with that. 20 foot awning with the LED light strip underneath. You do have the adjustable pitch on that. You got the sealed safety glass all the way around. And just take a look at all the storage options that we have in here. Good space, big small. But Chris, what if I want to bring my grill and do some grilling? Absolutely. Got your LP Quick Connect right there. Come around to the back. You'll see we got the solid mounted ladder with the safety handles that go over the top for the additional security of getting up there and doing the roof maintenance. Backup camera inside our light back there. Gas tank right here. Love this worm groove drive on the slides. It just makes for a sturdier slide, you know, just a better movement. Once again, tons of that Rotocast storage. With the LED lights, you got your Onan 5500 watt gas generator right there, quiet and powerful. And right beside my 50 amp service plug, as well as the Furion plug here, which open your cable connection, you're gonna see we got our terminations, black tank, gray tank, sewer outlet connection with its own porthole so everything stays secure and locked behind your door. But we also have Santa flush and external shower with hot and cold, city water connection. So yes, this does have a black tank flush system on it. You got the HD Max graphics on it, slide topper, which I mean, come on, if you're gonna have a slide, might as well have a slide topper. And of course, more storage. Storage, 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 storage for days. But when it comes to a class A, especially one that's entry level, but has a lot of amenities, I gotta tell you, Thor hit the mark with the Freedom Travelers. This A32 for a bunk model is one that I would recommend. But leave me some comments down below. You saw what I didn't like, what did you like? What did you not like about it? Because we love hearing from you and getting the feedback. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a review, you're the first one to get it. If you want price and information on this beauty, click on the link in the description that says, click here for price and availability. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to hear from you soon. Until then, come check out a Class A. They're fun to drive.